Hey, Snickers back. Yeah. Tonight, we've got a game for you. Okay. This is Vendetta Online. Yeah, Vendetta Online. I've been playing it for you about six years, on and off, maybe seven. Because it runs on really, really old hardware if you need it to, okay? You don't have a, a really up to date machine. In, uh, Intel graphics, no problem. Onboard graphics, no problem. Dodgy sound card, no problem. It will normally run, okay? There's a certain reason I'm going to show you this video. Every year, between Christmas and New Year, they give you a free week. So I'm connected to the server now, just logged in. And they give you a free week, basically, because it is a pay-to-play game. Okay, it's $10 a month. It's a bit of a bummer. But I only play a couple of times a year, so, you know, it doesn't cost me too much. So, it's me and Sneaky Boy's profiles here. You know, he still plays sometimes. So, anyway, we're going to enter the universe with my profile. I'm just going to show you a little few things about it. It's quite simple, really easy. The only thing is, when you've not played it for six months, you forget all the controls. So this is the screen you get when you first get into it, unless you're doing the training missions. Bear in mind, okay, there is an eight hour, that's game time hour, uh, freebie, if you want to download it. It's available for Linux, Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, everything basically. So I've got this ship here in this base here, and I need to go back to a different base. So, can I configure? No, I don't, do I want to configure my ship? Oh, I can't configure my ship. Yeah, I'll better, really better now. I've got some weapons on here. This is not really a fighter, okay? It's more like a, a bomber or a transport ship that you can have stuff for defence, okay? So this is my main stuff here. So, primary, no, I'm going to just change all that, okay? It's, it's this, that's it. My first trigger will be the best first button. That mine launcher will be for that one. Yes, you could have mines, you could have missiles. There's loads of different missiles, loads of different guns. There's mini guns, mini laser guns. There's loads and loads and loads, okay. I mean, how I got this far, I'll never know. I really don't. Obviously, I don't play enough. But when you do get into it, it can be quite addictive. So anyway, these are the uh, missions you can do. These will get you money and experience with different sections. So you've got Serco, Itani, and UIT. Now, I'm an I-10, so I'm Itani, Serco, uh, enemies. <sighs> so, all these here on the map here, this is the galaxy map, should we say. The purpley blue ones are I-10, or Itani. The grey ones are pirates. Like pirates. Red ones, <laughs> Serco, okay. Loads of them as well, luck goes right to there. And then we get the UIT, which, like, they can go either way. They're just like, oh. You can have them in your team, basically, and, but don't trust them too much. You know what I mean? Because they will stab you at the back. Trust me, I've been there, okay? So you've got all the controls here, character, calm and stuff. Your combat licenses, I've not got too far in my trading ones so far. That's because I've not played for a while. But as it's this time of year, I thought, I'll give it another go. Downloaded it and installed it onto Linux Lite. I'm sorry the video is not in 60 frames a second, but I buggered up Linux Lite's graphics. I'll tell you about that tomorrow in another video. Okay. So I've got nothing in this station that I can take anywhere. So, ooh. Shall I just go back to the base I was going to go to? Okay. So I need to get back to my main base in Deneb. Okay. Which is only one hop away. So when you go through a wormhole, you need full power. So I'm going to Deneb now. And that's the base I'm going to. The wormholes are the swirly blue things you see on the screen. Can you see the red and blue here? The red is Serco, the blue is us. So we're actually a bit losing a bit today, I think. <sighs> and this is where battles go on all day, all night, 24-7, 365. Okay. So we're going to jump to the next section so I can get back to the main base and do some stuff. Okay. Don't take too long. And when we're close enough, you just hit a key and... Bash! Off we go. And we go through that mini wormhole. It's not going to another system. You're in the same system. Oh, here we go, look. Unfortunately, I've been caught in an iron storm. This can happen quite a lot. Especially in grey space. If you ever get there. By the way, if you ever, ever actually do play the game, please play a long while before you go to grey space. Okay, otherwise you're going to get killed a lot and won't have any money left. Yeah. The idea is to get lots of money, basically. As you can see, I've got 93 million nearly. Ooh, I don't know why I should have more now. Anyway, off we go. 
in these iron storms there will be bots that will kill you badly if you don't quickly get out of there. So anyway, we on to the next one. Where will it leave me? Ah, oh, fantastic. Got into the system I want to go to. So that's where I want to go, Deneb 03. What? 03. We get close enough and then we can just walk through the warm, warm hole. It's probably a warm, warm hole actually, so it should be quite good. I better drink each one on my Okay. So here we go. It all depends on your internet connection as well. And it all depends on how many people are on. I think tonight there's quite a few people on, so it will be slower. Remember, it's not one of these big, big, big games. They do have quite a big following from all over the world, so you'll find different people from different time zones all the time. Now, oh, oh Gummo said that he's one of, one of ours. Okay. He said, oh, does that mean you who know who I am? Yeah. Well, I've not played long enough. Like, this year, okay, this year. I mean, I even played this on an old Pentium with a GT520 card, and it ran perfectly. Perfectly on an old CRT. Well, I think that was an LED one, too, actually. So, I've gone into the base. I'm just going to reply to him on it. In the sector, I will come out. He's told me there's a real circo in the last skirmish. Good. I did see that, though, because they've been there all night. I've been playing it all night tonight. So what I'm going to try and do this week is do quite a few of these and see how we get on. So shall I keep that ship? For I'm only showing you. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this ship. I know I'm going to get blown up because Fleet Consumer, yeah, he's got in for me. But I don't really care. I just like playing the game. It's nice to come back to it. It is really, really nice. It's just a pity it can be a bit cheaper. Maybe it's $7.99. So this is a really large skirmish. These ones can take hours to complete, but they can be AI or a lot of players in there. You never know till you get there or get shot down. One or the other. So in my group now we have me, Gummo. Is there any more in there? Mm, there's only two real players in this game. But when we get there, I reckon we'll find some real Circo players. So we're going to boost up all the way to this hole. Oh, Gamos, Gamos are already warped, okay. Don't get shot now, mate. It might hurt. Okay. A bit more drinkage while we get there. Hmm. You use the tab key for like a turbo boost. And now we're going to walk into the section. And now this is where it gets hairy. Now remember, I've only got forward firing missiles that are not too good. But I've got proximity mines. And I love them. Especially for doing a lot of trade stuff. Okay, so we've got a circo there. That's a bot. But these bots are not like simple. They can do stuff. Okay, so you have to be really, really careful. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. That hurt a bit. Let's lot off some mines. Thank you. Just in case he wants to come and find me behind. As you can see, this centaur is not really any good for fighting. It's only good for bombing if you're doing for the capital ships, which is that big red one over there, as you can see. You really need to go there and use missiles to try and take it out. Ow. Got the mines, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. That's hurting, thank you, but I've got him as well. Woo! These can be really, really hairy games for up to three hours. Up to, it all depends. You could be the only one playing it. And all of a sudden, there'll be about ten players coming and play the game. Now he's on my six now, and I can't turn very well. Look, I can't even get my scopes on him, and it's not going to work. Oh, oh I'm, I've got a mine off. Maybe I've got him. Who knows? So I'm dead. Okay. But you go back to your home base. Do, 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 do. Am I going to buy that last ship? Yeah, I'm also got plenty of money. Also, I'm also a member of a guild, so if you lose a bit of money, they, they'll lend you it. So it's no big deal. But there's, you, can, you can mine, you can do... Uh, Whatever you want to. Go and download it and give it a go. That's all I'm going to say. Just go and download it and give it a go. If after the eight hours playtime, which could be up to two days, it all depends what you want to do. You might like it, you might not. Some people don't like the grind to begin with, but it gets you used to stuff. Anyway, I'm saying this because I have got some keys to give away. Yes. So if you want to do it and do the eight hours, I'll give you a free key. Direct message me and I'll let you know. Sneaky links out. I will see ye later. Bye bye.